Hello everyone and welcome. In this lesson, we will learn how to edit skin deformations. All right, so the skin editing process is going to be really intuitive and simple, just like the process of applying skin and adding influence object. So let's say we go ahead and see how that works. Now, first, we need to make sure we are not under any sub object level of our, our model because if that's the case and we wanna, for instance, under the sub object mode and if we wanna move the upper or the forearm bone around, they will not deform the mesh, <laughs> as you can see. They are not getting any results. So, selecting the arm mesh, we will select the editable poly, and always we want to expand that and make sure to click again on the vertex or the any sub-object mode to exit from that sub-object level, okay? Just like so. And if we now move our forearm bone around, right? All is well. Now you should be good to go. All right, excellent. Now, what we can do next is select every bone object, okay? To do that easily, what we can do is either select the parent object of the entire hierarchy and double click on that to select the whole hierarchy or simply we can select for instance the upper arm and head the control page down and that will also select the entire hierarchy now what we need to do after we have selected our entire hierarchy is alt right click then freeze transforms so we can always go back to this default position for instance if we were to go ahead and move our forearm bone around if we want to bring that back to its default position to the skin position all we need to do is alt right click again then this time we will choose transform to zero and boom <laughs> and so this is how we can do that beautiful now to show you where the skin process will come very handy as we take the forearm bone and as we start to rotate this notice this unnatural gap we are getting around the elbow let me show you exactly this spot over here this unnatural gap this is the issue that we want to correct okay and so let's now add a little bit of bend to the elbow so we can see clearly the issue and fix that okay now if you want to you can either add a little bit of bend just like this or you can animate this bend so you can actually see better the deformations and the differences you will get in real time okay so in order to do that you can simply select your bone object okay then we need to make sure that we turn on this auto key feature and now dragging for instance your time slider to frame 20 we'll grab the rotate tool and with our forearm bone still selected we'll start rotate the bone okay to the point where we can clearly see the issues of the arm okay okay this is looking great now to finish this up we will turn off the auto key by clicking on the auto key button again and voila we have now managed to create this really cool little animation pretty cool right <laughs> We can go a little bit, we can bring this arm or the forearm bone a little bit to the back. We can activate the auto key again, okay? Then in frame zero, what we can do is press the alt right click, then transform to zero. 
to bring the forearm down to the skin position. And now we have two extremes to work with, okay? This is looking much better than previously. Now we can work more effectively on fixing this issue we are getting in our arm, okay? So, now to correct this issue we are getting in our arm model, it is just a matter of selecting our arm model, then from the modify tab under the skin modifier, we want to enter the edit envelopes mode. We can do that either by clicking on the edit envelopes mode, just like so, or by clicking on the skin modifier name itself. Both do the same thing. So let's go ahead and click on the edit envelopes mode. All right, what we should see now is these lines, okay? We should also see that our mesh has been color coded as well. So first, these lines that we see represent the bones that actually influence our model, okay? Whereas the color coding is a way of telling us how each bone is influencing our model. So the red means that these vertices are fully controlled by this selected bone object, which is in this case the upper arm. So the upper arm is now influencing these vertices color coded in red with 100%, okay? The orange and yellow areas they mean that we are getting half the amount of control. So we get this nice blend as we start to manipulate these areas, as you can see right over here. If we scroll the time slider, the orange and yellow areas have this nice blend. And that is shown by this orange and yellow colors. Now the blue areas, to show you this clearly, I will select the forearm bone. As you can see, the blue areas means that there is hardly any control from that selected bone. And the gray area means that there is no control at all. Okay, so what we need to do to edit the skin deformations of the arm is to go ahead and select this endpoint. Okay, let's scroll our time slider to the point where we can see better the issue we are getting. And we can select, for instance, our upper arm bone by clicking on the line that represents it. And so we can select now this end point that we can see in this yellow line, okay, this end point. And when we start dragging this using the move tool, let's bring this to the back. What we are basically doing is editing this capsule that we see around the arm. So that's exactly what this is. This is an envelope capsule which is great for initially fixing your deformations. All right, so with that endpoint selected, if we go ahead now and start translating this backward, we should be able to see better results automatically, which is super cool. And take a look now, the upper arm is getting a lot better. We can continue to move this to the point where we are getting rid, where we get rid of this gap. Okay, this looks beautiful. Let's say we go ahead now and fix the forearm in the same way. We'll select first the forearm bone by selecting the line that represents it. Again, we want to select that endpoint, this one over here of the yellow line. And now we can start moving this to this point to the back. 
and take a look we are now getting different results we can continue to adjust that until we remove that gap entirely okay let's continue doing that let's move this just a little bit to the back we can go back to the upper arm and select the endpoint again and move this backward okay or forward until we have managed we can go back and forth between the two bone objects until we completely remove that gap all right this is looking beautiful now all right awesome this is looking now a lot more natural and real sick and we can get a lot more better results when we are going to add a turbo smooth which is what we're gonna do in just a moment so we have managed now to fix this in hardly no time at all if you want to you can continue adjusting this until you feel happy with the results okay just like so I think that is looking awesome let me move this just a little bit okay this is looking beautiful so these capsules <laughs> really saves us a lot of time they're not all we have as editing tools of course they can help us to initially fix these deformations but there are still some steps we need to take to get much better deformations again if you want to learn more about that and learn more about the skinning process feel free to check out my other courses the beginner's guide to rigging in 3ds max 2018 where we go into the process of skinning an entire character and going into the tools and techniques used to enhance and improve skin deformations you can also check out my course facial rigging for beginners in 3ds max 2018 in that course you will put your skinning skills into test by skinning the head of the character we will be working on and if you want to take your skinning techniques a step further feel free to check out my course advanced hand rigging in 3ds max you will find a text file within your exercise files folder that contain a link to each course with a coupon code applied so you can get the courses at a discount right so let's now make the deformations a lot better and to see the actual results we can add in a turbo smooth modifier from the modifier list let's press the t key to bring up our modifiers that begins with the t letter and here is the turbo smooth and now when we add that as you can see the turbo smooth will add more geometry to our our model and we'll subdivide it and add a lot more geometry and with that our deformations will get a lot more smoother and we are getting a lot more natural and realistic deformations as you can see this is looking fantastic as you can see with just a little bit of work and using just the capsules available in 3ds max all right this is looking fantastic and so and that's going to be it for this lesson we have learned a process of editing our skin deformations using capsules in the next lesson we will talk a little bit about what we have learned in this course